Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Primate, and welcome back to another Lumbo Tycoon 2 episode. So, today is just going to be a Friday, you know? Just a, just a Friday. I mean, happy Friday. It's, 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 it's awesome to be Friday. I love Fridays. And today, we're going to be building and talking and having fun. So, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out in all videos like good YouTubers do. But it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. I need cherry wood. <gasps> I don't need cherry wood. I have cherry wood. Hello, cherry wood. All right, um, something that we might do, because I got this awesome red wood right here. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a red wood forest. Is I'll grab that and then that way I'll have this little ramp that I can just jump up, bam, like that, and jump straight into the game. Straight into building. Not necessarily just the game, but um, I played a little bit of Project the other day and it was a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun I have at it. Oh, uh, updates. There's been quite a few updates by Defaultio to Lumber. Don't know what he's doing. Could be a secret. Who knows? Um, you know, he is a very mysterious man and has many, many secrets. Um, but everything is calculated. He's very calculated. So, I only can suspect what he's coming up with. Um, should we make a roof? We, we need to have a roof, right? I mean, that would be a logical and sensible thing to do. Don't I have another bed? Don't I have a like a big bed? Hold on. Where's Yeah, there we go. I knew I had a double up here somewhere. <laughs> uh okay, hold on. I need to grab that piece, move it over here, and then I can drop this off right here. Bow. And then I'm going to need a counter. Like on the side here. That looks good. Man, we're making nice progress today. Look at that, we're just taking off running, aren't we? <laughs> so, I, uh, me and my wife, we've been going through and creating, or uh, fixing up the house and stuff. Getting it all ready for the big move, for the big sale, for the listing. It's turning out to be a really, really, huge process but at the same time it's like wow that's that's 17 years that we've lived inside the same house you know that's a that's a huge step that's a huge task and we're getting it done it's it's awesome looking but we've had uh one of our guys um he has come over and fixed up some of the stuff in the house what am i talking about um so like my gate uh, to the house, it's been broken for the longest time, but um, we had Charlie, our dog, and Charlie would chew through pretty much anything. Did I just throw that in there? Here, get up there. There you go. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Okay. Um, what else did I have done here? We can put a couch in there. You know, the, the couch we can set right across uh, here. What? Let's see. No, this, this room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that, I like that. Okay, we don't want that because then people will be coming in and out of doors all the time. Let's go, let's go right here. Let's go right there. And then should we section this off into its own? little room actually oh brilliant good idea guys you guys you guys are so smart so let's do that exactly what you were thinking and let's turn this into a hallway and oh come on just like that like that and voila Rotate. And we can turn this into its own little room. Right back over here. And then this way, this will be like the little entertainment area. And then we can have like uh, another little room over there. 
Maybe like a, a washroom or like a master bathroom, something like that. I don't know. Maybe an office. Could be an office. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, baby. I like it a lot. I like it like that. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, just completely forgot what I was talking about. Um, so our dog Charlie, he used to chew pretty much everything. Everything got chewed up, even his metal cage. Because I, I I got him like one of those outdoor pins that was it was like twelve foot by twelve foot I think is. Fairly big, no, 24 by 24. And it was big. It was meant for a big kettle, kennel dog, right? He had his little house in there, had his food bowl, water bowl, stuff like that. And he decided he didn't want to stay in it. So he chewed the metal, <laughs> the, the fencing that goes around this pin. And the way he did it, it was he would... You, so they've got these crisscross patterns, like these little diamond patterns, that, like that, 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 like that, right? And what he would do is he would pinch, like this, systematically. He would pinch up. It's a smart dog, very smart. But he would pinch, and what it would do, it would slowly th lift the bottom of that gate into a hole that he could climb out through. So smart. I miss Charlie. Mm, poor pupper. But he was old, very old. Anyhow, have you ever had a pet that you've lost? Um, either through natural causes or through like running away? Most, well, all of my pets prior to Charlie, that's what they did. They, they like, we lost them. It was never that they um, died of natural causes or anything. I'll section that off. I don't know why. I, f I feel like that needs to be something. Why do I why do I have it like that? You know what? Let's not do that. I don't like that. Let's move the door down here to the end. There we go. Oops. So it was a bit hard for me because, you know, Charlie was the first dog that I'd had who died of natural causes. If you do have a favorite pet, or if you have a, a pet that you miss dearly, put it down in the comments. Let us know, what was your pet? Was it a goldfish? Was it a cat? A dog? Maybe it was some exotic pet? Do any of you have um, exotic pets? Uh, like non-standard pets, sugar gliders. <gasps> oh, I want a sugar glider. Does anybody have a chichilla? Oh, have you ever seen a chichilla? Oh gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta go show you a picture of what a chichilla looks like. Chachilla. Ch chichilla. That's not, that's not a chichilla. Chachilla pet. Chinchilla, not a chachilla. That's, ew. don't, don't Google that. That's not what I meant. Um, there we go. Chinchilla. Images of chinchillas. Google henceforth and whatnot. Okay, so this is what a chinchilla looks like. Hold on, where's the chromey chrome? I got it. Where's the chrome? There it is. <gasps> Yay, it's a chinchilla. Look at them. Look at the little fuzzies. They're so adorable. Anyhow, that's why I want one. Because they're absolutely adorable. <sighs> the next pet we're getting is definitely going to be Fluffer. It's got it's got to be a fluffy. You know, we've we've done the the dog thing, and my wife doesn't like cats, and she's allergic. To, kids are allergic to it as well. Um, so, no kitty cats. No offense, because I I actually like cats. Um, I'm a cat dog kind of person. You know, one thing that I don't like: squawking parakeets. They are so annoying. Who has parakeets? Comment down below. 
Hold on. What was I looking for? Floor. I need a large tile floor. That's a tile. Large tile. Rotate. Rotate ton. Oh, that's way too, way too big. That's not. <laughs> that's a boom. Bam. Bada bop. Bam. Over just a little bit like that. I'm gonna move this over a little bit like that. Perfect. Do we have any blue wood? <gasps> yes, we have blue wood. Wow, what you making? I am going to make myself a television upstairs. Uh, a lot of you were asking, Code, what movie are you watching? And and asking about the uh, the TV inside the the Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 game. And I said it's a horror movie. You guys were like, what do you mean it's a horror movie? I'm like, look, it's the scariest movie you've ever seen. The blue screen of death. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wah, wah. Dork. Um, wait, 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 wait. What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, we need speakers. You know, no good sound system has ever gone without an awesome set of speakers. So let's do some floor models. Two little uh, side floor models here. Boink. Post. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we do, uh, where's the wedgies? Give me wedges. No, wedgies. Uh, that's horrible. Um, let's do ro rotate, turn. How do we turn? Okay. go there's one and two come on two oh, okay that is way off center okay need to move this over like a lot maybe maybe not a whole lot rotate oh no 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 go go back down Dang it, dang it. Mm. You know, I talked about losing a pet, but I think that's that's a very important part of life. And it, it's a very important lesson about pets in general, because when you buy a pet or when you get a pet, that is not how you sit in a chair. That is not how you sit. Okay, hold on. Uh, turn, rotate, rotate. There we go. There is an underlying expectation that the pet will pass away before you do. That's that's, that's a given. Um, hold on. Where's the? Do I have like a one by one? Is there a singular? Hmm. Those are walls. What a floor. Tiny floor. Surround sound system. Uh, we need a subwoofer. Where's the subwoofer at? Where would the subwoofer be? We'll put the we'll put the subwoofer right in the center. Oops. Hold on. Come on, get down there. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Surround system. And center speaker can come out of there as well. So, there we go. <laughs> movie night. It's movie time. Time to watch some movies. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to need a dark wood for that. Um... Actually, you know what? We'll make them green. We'll make all the speakers green. So we're gonna need zombie wood. Do I have time to run to zombie? Yeah, oh yeah, we got plenty of time. It's only been like 14 minutes. So, 
off we go to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Uh oh, that's that's no good. Hold on. Nope. There's this expectation that whenever you purchase a pet, whenever you get a pet, the life expectancy of the pet should be longer than humans. You know, that's that's the idea behind it. But you take care of your pet and you you care for it, and it shows you companionship, and that's that's the way pets work, right? And nobody ever wants to think of the, the pet ending or the, the death of the pet. But it happens. And it's also, it's kind of like the things that you learn from a pet, taking care of them, feeding them, being responsible for them, stuff like that. That's also part of the learning process, is learning to let go, to mourn, to feel empathy for you know that's that's very important it's a human quality to have those things and that's also not to say that if you don't show empathy or if you don't that's don't take that the wrong way because i know when you have whoa, adhd asperger's um stuff like that it's hard to show empathy if at all but that's not, that's not to say that you're not human. You're, you are human. It is very meaningful to have a pet and to lose a pet. So, uh, should we try and get the, the, uh, should, should we make it fall down? Do we want to make it fall down? Hold on. Can I do this? Tiny flaw. Come here, tiny human. Rotate. Whee. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Rotate. Rotate. Oh, no. Flip. There it goes. Yay. Uh, for those of you that have never seen that before, that's how you do it. Technically, you're supposed to be using uh, you're supposed to be using some TNT, but that works too. Skills. See that? See those skills when I landed? Whoa. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So, I know that the the main point of this this lesson this this session, this game play is not the the door bridge, but I'm totally going to use that as my uh my thumbnail cuz that just looked awesome. Uh, I love playing Lumber Tycoon too. There's just something very familiar about the gameplay. I don't know if it's from years of video game simplicity of Nintendo, you know, repetitive task and getting to an end goal of some kind, but there's no end goal, you know, that's what makes it different. It's, it's repetitive task of building, collecting, deleting, changing creativity without an end goal. I would love if there was like a like a nether where you could go. Not to not to be all minecrafty and stuff, but that would be really cool, you know. Hey Defaultio, we we need a uh, a nether and uh the end. But that's also something that gives it its very uniqueness is that there is no end, you know? The game is based on how you want to play, not the constraints of what the game allows, you know? Wait, I'm in the wrong seat. There we go. Mm. Skills, man. Burped right in the microphone. Boom. So, we got a sound system, we got an entertainment system, we got our bed set up. Um, do we want to put a couple of chairs up there as well? 
Might as well, you know, while we're while we're at it. I've got all the blueprints, I think. Does anybody mind that I'm playing on my own private server? Like, I could be playing out in the public with everyone, but I don't want to because I think there's way too many exploiters on Roblox in general. And has everybody else seen what I've seen? Like, is there has there been a, a shift in people playing Roblox? Or is, it, is that just me as well? Because that's, that's going to be monumental, especially for anybody that's got stocks. If you have stock in Roblox, congratulations. Because there's only like, what, 3.2 million available units or something like that? So, uh-oh, uh-oh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Ooh. I could have made this multicolored, couldn't I? <laughs> All right, I won't. I'll leave it alone. That that could have been fun. Green speakers. This is from the Xbox series, <laughs> where everything is green. Well, I guess I guess not. Xbox uh, One kind of changed up the logo and stuff, didn't it? So, but uh, Xbox original. I'm just wondering what they're going to call the next one, you know? PlayStation at least started using a numbering system like PlayStation uh, 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. But with uh, Xbox, it's like Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, wait, Xbox One, Xbox One S. I'm waiting for the Xbox One S, 360S, Xbox One. <laughs> Just start adding the same numbers that you've been using over and over and over again. Uh-oh. That's no good. Oh, I did get coffee tonight, so I'm I'm fresh on coffee. Mmm. A lot of you were kinda upset with the um with the egg. Like I didn't realize that you you'd be upset about not knowing about the egg. But to be truthful, the majority of you weren't even around for the live stream when it happened. So, I mean, the only way you would have known about it is if you had gone back to that live stream, which was like four years ago, and rewatched it. And nobody goes back to live streams that far back. Who knows how many secrets I could have hidden in old videos? I'm just kidding. There's, no, there's nothing hidden. But I do know somebody that does have something hidden, and that is Dark J. Dark J hid something a long time ago inside one of his videos. It's a QR code, and I found it. <laughs> but that was a while ago. Oh, wouldn't a picture or like a, a flower at the end, wouldn't that be really cool right here down the hallway? Maybe a couple pictures on the, the wall. We need to go see Tim Elthy. Get ourselves some pictures. But I'm gonna call it for tonight. I think I think we did a good jo job, like setting up the top, and then uh, probably do some roof, maybe in the in the near future. So we got office. Um, we're gonna call this like living room, uh, master bedroom. We got the master bath to still complete. But other than that, I just I love coming in here, talking to you guys, and just having fun talking to you. Whether it's about Silly stuff or important stuff, who cares? Just as long as you're having fun. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, there's no pressure to do so. Happy Friday. I'll see you at karaoke tonight, and then we'll have a uh, family movie night tomorrow and live stream. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.
Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.